each member of the winning team takes home a hundred dollars. <gasps> I could really use that yeah. money. I've been saving up for one of those 3D ultrasounds. You know, the one where the baby's all like... And the best part is that the red team doesn't even know about the money. Jonah? I'm sorry, just, I, I don't... I, I am a little uncomfortable uh, pushing people to buy things that they don't want or Whoa. need. Seriously? Oh. Just I will kill myself before I go back to 2D ultrasound, okay? I will kill myself. Withdraw. Okay, I need two volunteers. Oh, right here. I'm first. Pick me. Okay, thank you. Mateo, who else? Anyone? <gasps> Garrett! Yeah, I just wanted to say no. You're all ingrates. I hope someone sets you all on fire and you need a volunteer to put it out. It's too much for 6 a.m. I don't think it's enough. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll do it. Okay, thank you, Jonah. Uh, you and Mateo will be in charge of our in-store dog adoption today. Oh. Yes, that's right. The volunteer job was desirable. That was a lesson. Hello, the Samaritan, as he traveled, came to where 6 the- 6 a.m., Gwen. Okay, right, but anyway, while the rest of you are having normal dogless days, these two selfless heroes will be in puppy heaven. I wanna be in puppy heaven. I'll switch if anybody wants. I don't really care about dogs. <gasps> I mean, I don't dislike them. I just, you know, I don't really have strong feelings one way or the other. You're a psychopath. Sociopath. He's a sociopath. Is it because they don't like you? No, no. I think it, it says something about our priorities that we spend so much money on pets when there are literally millions of children without adequate nutrition. I hope you die. Funny, I've never been, uh, never been assigned here before. Hmm. Jewelry's a real can of worms in terms of feminism, you know? <laughs> Uh-huh. Here we go. This is the Super Bowl of retail. There is a buzz in the air, a charge that probably doesn't read on camera. Uh, but over here, we have the pre-opening potluck. Every employee brings a dish, much in the spirit of sharing. Isn't that a delightful tradition, Amy? Yeah, I love waking up at 3 a.m. to eat Sandra's cold spinach casserole. It's meant to be served cold. Sorry. Okay, Garrett, any advice for my first Black Friday? Get that camera out my face. All right, not a morning person. Joan. So, the red team knows about the money now, so it's oh. time for the gold team to stop pussyfooting around. I'm not doing that with my feet. I, I just have trouble pressuring people into buying stuff they don't need. Well, that's selfish. Actually, I think it's the opposite of selfish. Just keep it on the DL. All right, I got you, son. Oh, God, don't say that. Pretend I'm not here. Why pretend when you could really just not be here? Wow, pretty tough on her. I feel like I barely did anything my first day. Yeah, we all felt that way. What about sexual coworkers? Awful. Okay, just say you don't care. This is nice, huh? Taking a well-earned break with my coworkers. I feel like I'm finally fitting in here. <laughs> You don't get to decide when you're fitting in. We'll let you know. I'm just saying, getting used to it. Ugh. <laughs> not getting used to standing all day. It's not a problem I have to deal with. Yeah, well, lucky you, my friend. Not luck, lucky, not lucky you. That's, I don't think you're lucky. So you think I'm unlucky? Uh, not, well, you know what I mean. That's, that's an, ex it's an expression. And I why don't you just eject right now? You know, it's so weird that your feet hurt. Just every time I see you, I feel like you're sitting. Try doing this job six months pregnant. Yeah, seriously, that's brutal. I didn't know you were pregnant too. I was when I was 19. Then I gave birth to my daughter. So I'm not pregnant now, but thank you for thinking so. I didn't mean you look pregnant. I just meant- Eject, I, eject. I didn't know that you had a child. I, listen, that's, I think that's beautiful. Really, I, I'm in awe of single mothers, so. I'm married. Ooh, you should have just ejected, man. Why are you in awe of single mothers? I just think it's it's very brave to have a child, especially at your age. Oh, well, I didn't set out to have a baby. Came from sex. Right, sure, uh, but but you, you bravely made the decision to go through with it. Well, I couldn't get a ride to Planned Parenthood. Well, if you ever need one in the future. Jonah, I'd prefer if you didn't offer to shuttle our employees to the abortion clinic. No, I meant rides in general. What if it was just for a pap smear? Could I get a ride for that? They recommend one a year, but I like to go extra, make sure everything's 
up to code. Okay, I'm just going to say it. I'm fine with you driving your coworkers anywhere except the abortion clinic. Damn it, Glenn. Well, you cannot talk about your personal feelings on abortion in the workplace. I didn't bring up abortion. Oh, he did. Me. That's and not technical. I am allowed to, to write, say the I will word write you abortion. Listen, I didn't hear abortion. I'm recording this entire abortion. conversation. Just speaking the phone. Abortion, 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 Thank abortion. Thank you very much. You dug your own grave. We can't afford a grill right now. But we can afford for you to take all the college classes in the world. Excuse me? This is not Adam's fault. This is my fault. Jonah, and... stay out of this. Hey, uh, you know why they call it Black Friday? We really don't have to make conversations. Okay, it's, okay, cool. We can just, yeah, be just be quiet. Okay, yeah, no. Yeah, see, Latino parents are different. We don't really need our kids to like us. We just break their spirit so the world doesn't. Huh. And why, why do you pierce your baby's ears so I am so not on early? a panel. This is not Ask a Latina. Got it. I'll just find out on Reddit. Trust me, you do not want to have the day that I'm having. They, they keep, like, like thrusting their pelvises and calling me J-Bone. You have a nickname? I didn't get a nickname. I think you're missing the point. If you're J-Bone, then I want to be a hole. You sure? Obviously not. See you around, a-hole. Shut up! So how'd you guys meet? I don't really want to talk about my home life. Got it. This is the dark night of our souls. A portrait of hopelessness. A... Wow. You can't just keep us here. I'm going trick-or-treating with my daughter. Yeah, I have a date uh, with a good book. I'm going to a screening of Nosferatu at the Tivoli if anybody wants to come. Wow, that sounds really terrible. Guys. Okay, Amy, not as Guys, this is what Black Friday wants. That is a family recipe. We have a secret ingredient. But this is not what Black Friday is going to get. Oh, cinnamon? Boring. And we are going to overcome this because there's absolutely. Could you please shut up? You're an intense mom. I do not want to be around when Emma starts dating. Why would you even mention that? Incidentally, I'm, I'm Brexit. How has nobody asked me about that all day? Can we talk to you for a second? It's kind of personal. Yeah, sure, sure. OK, well, first of all, you need to calm down. I'm calm. I'm calm, just, you know, my roomie's coming to me for a, a little heart to heart. It's a, it's a good day. <laughs> it's, a really, it's a really good day. Basically, Dina and I decided together mm -hmm. to break up. Mm -hmm. And now she's going around, she's telling everybody that she dumped me, which oh. is not true, it was huh. mutual. Okay. Can you stop active listening? Oh, yes, sorry, continue. And I feel like I want to let everyone know, but Dina's in a rough place, and I don't want it to look like I'm kicking her when she's down. Got it, okay, so ooh, let's unpack this. Uh, it sounds to me like you're looking for a way to let everybody know what happened with you and Dina without it reflecting poorly on you. That's exactly what I just said. Okay, that's a toughie. That is a tough, tough, toughie. Okay, this is a good word.